Hi guys. All right, we're off to get Aiden. It's Friday. Uh, yesterday's video just went up because I'm having issues with that stupid computer being crazy. I don't know what's going on with it. I'm going to try and figure it out. Um, if not, you might have to have some old school videos until I can get it figured out. And I'm sorry, I am so shiny. I look like a disco ball. I just noticed how disco ballish I am in this car. I am like, it is like a disco in here. Alright. So, we are headed out. That truck did not want to share the road. This is wide enough for two cars if you get over. Thank you. Um, they are finally finishing up the soffits and that, um, the guy that was doing it got called away on a chimney that was falling down and he had to go take care of that, and which put him behind a day, so he's finally finishing up today. Um, yeah, so... doing just notice the sweater yeah because it's only 64 degrees today yesterday it was in the freaking 90s today it's 64 Ugh. I already got the plants moved inside so they're all good well they're in the garage right now but they'll be okay in the garage at these temperatures the garage doesn't get that cold until it gets really cold hopefully this year it won't be as bad because we are sealing putting the new seal on and stuff so hopefully it won't be as bad but here we are going again. I don't know what to talk about. Um, the basket, the little purse, the owl purse I was making. I've got everything done except sewing the liner and sewing the liner in. So that's all I have left to do on it. So I'm going to try and get that done today. Um, I'm supposed to take it to her tonight. So I might have to finish sewing it wipe out with mom for bingo so but we'll see we'll see <sighs> I noticed when I was editing videos this is not the most flattering view of me but it is what it is. That's what I look like. No makeup almost every day. Unless I'm filming. Or if I'm really feeling energetic that day. <sighs> but most of the time this is how my, I am. I yawn constantly. Part of it's the meds I take. I do take a couple meds that keep you constantly tired and fatigued. But then I take medicine to help with the fatigue. So I don't know. All right, I don't know. It's, a, it's a losing battle. And where are you guys going? You guys, I don't know where you went. I didn't see the whole phone for a minute. I think you fell behind the steering wheel. <laughs> but you're all good. You're all good. I can see you out the, the, the peripheral. I can see the phone. I can see like that you're right there. But a minute ago, you weren't right there. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. We're doing better today. We're not running so far behind. But. Look at the stuff this yawning stuff. This drives me nuts. But it's an everyday constant. Everybody at Bingo yells at me because I'm always yawning. What are they doing there today? Hmm. There's an old dairy. Because you could have said it. You whispered it. Um, it's an old dairy. It used to be called Riggins Dairy. And uh, they sold all their cows. And they sold a lot. Well, they sold a good chunk of their land. Not all of it. They still have quite a bit. But they don't do the cows anymore. They, we used to get our milk and everything there. And uh, anything dairy we used to get there. But, uh, can't anymore. Um, I think I have 
you unbalanced is the problem. Because I'm looking at it and you look very unbalanced. So, yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah. What was I saying? Oh, about Oregon's Dairy. I wish they still had it because I think that Riggins Dairy's milk, because it was a fresher milk because it's like made right here and processed here and everything, I think it tasted better. I think it was a better milk. What do you think, Mom? Yeah. I think it was good because it was fresher. It came straight from the dairy, so I think it was a lot better. Creamier, richer. I mean, you could even do... 2% milk and it tasted better. I get the 2% milk now and for me it tastes like water. But that's because I'm used to it straight from the dairy. So, because that's what I grew up on straight from the dairy. So, I can't do anything lower than vitamin D. I'm sorry. I can't do it. I was raised on dairy milk, straight dairy milk, straight from the dairy milk, however you want to say it. And 2% milk that you get in the grocery store nowadays, it tastes like water. It's not as good. It's not as creamy. It doesn't have any flavor. Um, I love cottage cheese, but the cottage cheese from Rigan Dairy, I think it was creamier. Um, if Dad was here, I'm sure he would agree with me. I still remember their carton. It was the little orange circle, and then it said Rigan's in the middle. That's what was on the cottage cheese containers. I remember that. We had the milk box for Riggins. I don't even know what happened to that milk box. Do you? I don't know. We had a little metal milk box. It was an insulated metal milk box. And it sat on the front porch. And that's where the dairy truck would come. And he would put the milk. Man, I'm dating myself bad, ain't I? <laughs> I told y'all I was older but um, yep dating myself very well here but yeah so is what it is I don't care I remember that I remember being able to stay out until the street lights well it was we were allowed to stay out until dark till the the yard light came on because we had a light that was a uh, when the when the sun would go down just enough it would come on it wasn't solar powered it was it had a light sensor in it and so when it didn't detect the sun anymore it would come on and so we were allowed to be outside and playing until that came on and that came on, you better be at home. And then, it got to the point where they put street lights in down through there. That was, I was a little bit, I was quite a bit older when they did that. So, I don't think that affected me. But it was like, when the street lights came on, you had to be home. But ours was the yard light. That yard light came on, you better be in your yard. Because, mom would be checking. And back in those days, it wasn't just mom and dad getting on you. If a neighbor saw you do something wrong, they would get on you. And then they'd call your mom or your dad before you got home. So then you'd get it twice. Once from the neighbor and once when you got home. Sometimes twice when you got home. But sometimes mom would yell at us and then say, wait till your dad gets home. And then dad would get us too. So sometimes it was three times. So, but you know what? Kids behaved a lot better back then. They didn't do crazy things and stupid things like busting out windows or tearing people's stuff up, stealing shit off people's porch. Oh, so sorry about that. Stealing stuff off people's porches. None of that happened back then. Because all the neighbors were watching. Nowadays, the neighbors just don't care. I mean, I have a couple neighbors that are really nice. I have one new neighbor. And I have a neighbor next to me that um, he 
he's really friendly, but she's real standoffish. And then there's a neighbor on the other side. They're they're all friendly. They always say hi and everything. Um, and then across the way, um, those people they always wave hi or whatever and say hi. So they're always nice. But and then there's a lady that lives catty corner from us, and she always asks about mom stuff when she sees me out and then if she catches mom at the mailbox she talks her ear off but but they're both widows I think that's probably why she, I think she gets lonely sometimes but uh, all she has is her kids and her kids don't live with her they just come and see her every so often usually on Sundays she will see her kids over there her daughter I think but other than that, she doesn't get very many visitors. But, uh, yeah. But I grew up in that neighborhood, and it has changed so much. So much. Should we stop so you can look? I'm going to stop so you can look. Stop now, then I don't have to try and cross that road. All right, we're going to stop this yard sale real quick. I'm going to put you guys on pause. And I will see you when we get back in the car. It won't be long because we don't have long. All right. Bye, guys. Okay. Oh, my gosh. I spent way too much time at this thing. And, um, hello. It should be Jennifer. Uh, yeah. Here. Just give it here. Hey, will you do me a big favor? Call the school and tell them I'm on my way. I'm like on the road. I'm on three. But I freaking stopped at this freaking yard sale and thought, oh, I'll only be there for a minute. And then it took the guy forever to help me load this fireplace in the trunk. So I am on my way. I am like probably five minutes out yeah all right thank you baby all right love you all right bye we're not horribly late because i just saw one of the buses come out it's 46 246 huh yard sale. Mom found lots of little Christmas houses that she loves. The lady talked her freaking talked us to death. Um, wouldn't stop talking. I found some shooters. If you don't know what those are, I'll show them to you. Um, they're the large marbles. Yeah. From when I was little. Yes. Awesomeness because they're expensive anymore. The, the old ones are. The tiger eye ones. And that's that jar has tons of tiger eyes in it. Um, and then mom found some Vera Bradley purses. Uh, she got all four of them for ten dollars, which two fifty a piece. I guess that's not too bad at all. But I found a fireplace. It's not a big fireplace, but it is a super cute little fireplace. It doesn't work, but I got it for five dollars, and I'm going to have my boyfriend take the guts out, the big box off the back. And, um, I don't know what part doesn't work, if it, if it lights up, if it don't light up, does it produce heat, does it not produce heat, I don't know, but we're going to find out, I'll have him test it in the garage, so we're safe, um, but, uh, it's like a little red brick fireplace. It's small. It's in my trunk. My trunk is not shut, but it's in my trunk. It's bungeed. We're good. It's bungeed. 
Um, we just got to be careful driving. Um, yeah. But, uh, whew, I'm excited. I'm excited. When I saw that I was going to be able to get that fireplace, even if I got it and just ha build a wooden box on the back and use it just for Christmas, it'd be worth it. It would be worth it to me because that's wh why you need a fireplace is for Christmas. So you can set your Christmas villages and little Christmas things up on top of it. And, well, I probably won't be able to do that because he'll have a TV on top of it. But, anyway... I can hang my stockings. I've got little stocking things that you set across the mantle and you hang it down. Yes, I'm so excited. I got those from the Dollar Tree a long time. It was a long time ago, wasn't it, Mom? Yeah. A few years ago. A couple years ago. What, three years ago? But anyway, I'm so excited. I am so excited. Uh, Mom got a lot of little villages, which is cool. I found some elephants which I like elephants as long as their trunks are up because if their trunks are up they're lucky and if their trunks are down they're not lucky at least that's what I was taught so yeah but it's really cute because there's a mama and a baby elephant and there's nothing wrong for it and I got that for a dollar and it can sit up on it's not as pretty as the ones that I have on my piano they're not as intricate but they're still pretty I mean they're white and gray elephants I had to call daughter, which you heard the conversation. So, yeah, because we took forever, we were running late, and um, uh, Aiden hasn't been picked up yet. So, when we get down here, I might have to run into the school to get him. I don't know yet. Um, I'm almost there. I'm hurrying. I promise people. <sighs> it's 10 tail, and I should have been there at 20. <laughs> So we're like 10 minutes late right now. But I told him we were like 5 minutes out, which eh, it hasn't even been 5 minutes. So we are hurrying. I see another car down there. So I don't know if, that, if we're the only ones that are late picking up or if that's just teachers trying to leave. <laughs> so, yeah. But we're almost there. I've got one more bad bump. And we'll be in front of the school. So, I know this vlog was all over the place and it was a little short because I stopped at the, I did not expect to find a fireplace. And I did not expect it to take that man 20 minutes to help me put it in the trunk. But, it did. We did. It did. And, we're pulling up to the school now. I'm going to have to go in and get him because he's not standing outside. So, I'm going to get off here now. Remember, all dragonflies are beautiful in their own way. And, I will see you in the next one. Probably be Monday before I do another vlog. Because, we're only going to do them on the way to get Aiden. But, I uh, love each and every one of you. And, um, I will try and put in a picture or something of the shooters. Alright, guys. Love you so much. And, I will see you next time. Bye!